for context, this is Orlando, all the way from Altamont down to Lake Nona. Yeah, I know, it's huge, right? But we are right here. This is where we're gonna be looking at the house today. So here we are in front of the house. I absolutely love the aesthetic. They painted the outside. They added new shingles on the roof. The aesthetic looks really good. Very bungalow. Let's check it out inside. Inside, we're gonna be welcomed with the fireplace. And let me tell you, the fireplace and this area just makes it look super nice. You've got tons of natural lighting. Not to mention, there's a lot of space. And then, as soon as you cross this way, you have the dining area, which I think a rectangular dining area would be way better. Then you have this wall. I think that this wall can come down if it's not load bearing. You have the kitchen, which has the floors redone. And you have the top, which is for mica and the cabinets, which are new. Looks really good, really chic. Kind of matches the vibe of the house. Not only is it completely fenced, but you have this really, really nice, again, this is grand oak, tree in the backyard that keeps, I mean, right now the sun is right there and you don't even feel the heat. You have the main bedroom, which for a house this old is really big, in fact really big tons of natural light you can see the greenery and the brick road outside you get like a colonial town north feel when you're in this house then you have the second bedroom which is right here second bedroom has a lot of space not to mention that not only does it include a closet and space windows it has a separate little extension here that is ventilated you have the ventilation right there. You have this little area where you can just throw a little couch, a TV, and just come watch Netflix or just study. This is absolutely really cool. You've got the greenery from the backyard. I mean, this is just a classic house, not to mention the all of the windows it, throughout the house are original. So this is what the neighborhood kind of looks like. They're all pretty much bungalow homes going all the way across on this really nice brick road and then you have this nice little median that slows down a lot of the traffic you have a couple of duplexes this one's for sale too but it's not as nice you have this really nice community that lives in here i know a couple of people that live around here but check this out i'm gonna walk a little faster Love this yard that he has here and the outside. I love everything about this house. But ultimately, this is what I want to show you guys. This is an empty lot that was sold about, I would say, two or three months ago. And uh, look, they already had the public hearing going up. So because they're going to get the permits pulled and make sure that everything lines up what the city wants to build around here, but these are four homes, not townhomes, four legit homes that are gonna be built here. And I'm telling you, these houses are gonna go up for at least 450,000. It's gonna be four lots right here, all subdivided. It's such a good idea. So this is Lake Dot. This is two blocks away from the house we were just at. In the mornings, I take my dogs here and I walk them. They're updating all of this. New irrigation, so the grass is always green. They added a fountain over there with lights and that's gonna be popping up once they're done with all the water maintenance systems. Let's come in here. We have active crews and community cleanups that take out all of the dirt and all that from here. But not to mention, check this out. That is right here. That right there, that big building. That is Creative Village's building, the EA headquarters. And you have the Julian right there. And we're gonna go check out the Luminary Green right now. You really have to appreciate the trees. They really provide a lot of shade. This is how close you are 
to being downtown. It's awesome. Four blocks away from all of the metropolitan city district. The business district is right over there, so you're super close to that. That's Luminary Green right there. I wonder how long that took to paint. Looks so cool. Plus, check that out. You have a huge screen, and they have tournaments here to play games outside. All right, so this is Luminary Green. It's an acre lot of recreational use. You can come out here chill, especially during the colder season. It might just be better to come out. They've already had some really nice little festival events, but it's just so cool. You have this big stretch of green right there. A lot of days, I think it's every other day, there's some guys that come out and they play a whole field of soccer. You have that fence in the back, which is a little dog park. It's a mini dog park. We'll check that out now. So this is a little green area for your pets. I'm sure that they're not gonna be coming out. It has an opening on both sides. But here's a key thing. That is UCF slash Valencia campus right there. Then you have the common areas over here. This right here, this, uh, that parking spot right there adjacent to this, that is a huge lot that they're gonna start construction on February for a mixed use residential. That lot on that side is potentially gonna be mixed use slash for, for residential and for um, offices or they're still getting in the final phases or it's gonna be a hotel. And then you got another huge lot over there next to the campus that's gonna be more UCF facility. I mean, the potentials are all here. And it's, it's, it's a mixture that right now you have to get into before it's just too late. Come to the porch on Wednesdays. I think it's Wednesdays or Thursdays. You have trivia night. Look how nice this looks. This is outdoors. You feel all the breeze, especially when it's raining. Come here, stop for a drink. The bar is right there. And you have all the greenery right here. This looks super cool. It feels super Miami.